Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be doing a DIY project that I think a lot of us can do, and this is my first time trying it, so it's gonna be pretty fun. I'm going to be removing this POS vanity, which my wife hates, and I hate it too, uh, especially since you know the door fell off the other day, it broke, and I figure I'm not gonna to try to fix that. So we're gonna be taking out this old vanity, taking out this medicine cabinet, and then we're putting a new vanity in. So we're gonna go through the steps really quick that I'll be doing. Uh, first thing I'll do, we're gonna take off these doors. Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go under here. Let me show you quick. And we're going here, and with the water running, I'm gonna turn off, turn off the source right here, okay? Then my next step will be to remove this pipe, remove these hoses. I'm gonna take off these doors and then I'm gonna remove the top because that's gonna make it a lot easier and a lot lighter when we take this off. And once I have the top off, there's only one screw in the back of this one holding it in place. So I'll take off that screw and we should be fine. Uh, and again, as I go through this whole process, I'm gonna be narrating what I do. So don't think like you have to catch everything right now, but I'm just kind of catching you, going you through, going through uh, what we're doing. So that's really it, uh, we're gonna get started. So stick around. Place a bowl underneath the P-trap in order to catch any water that spills. Grip the P-trap firmly with one hand and rotate each nut counterclockwise. You must unscrew two nuts in order to use an adjustable wrench to loosen the faucet hose at the top. Once it breaks free, you should be able to loosen this with your fingers. There may be a little water, so have a bucket ready in the event that anything spills. Now, once you have that one off, you're going to move on to the next one and do the exact same thing. As you see here, I just put the adjustable wrench up there, break it loose, a little water comes out, catch that, and get my hand up there and screw it, all set. All right, moving on to the bottom of the faucet hoses. You just take a wrench, break them free, and then you should be able to unscrew them by hand. Now, often these are corroded because, you know, we don't replace these that often. And if that is the case, you can use some WD-40 or a similar lubricant, spray it on the nut, wait for that to break it free a little bit, and then get in there with the wrench and you should be good to go. Another thing I like to do in these instances is place a towel down around the base where I'll be working. It just prevents any excess water from spilling, which just leads to a mess. And when you finish up, you have a couple options with these hoses. If you bought new ones for the rest of your install, Awesome, throw these out. If you're going to keep using them, if they're in good shape, then just set them to the side and get ready to move on. Now I have to be honest, this part was definitely fun, but it also served a purpose. Uh, one of the reasons we took the doors off is because I didn't know how hard this was going to be to remove from where it's located, so I thought that would give us a better grip and less obstruction. You take the sink off because the sink weighs quite a bit, and in doing that, it makes your job a lot easier. So just take a pry bar, stick it underneath the sink, take a hammer, slam it in there, work your way around. You'll hear the silicone or whatever material they use to bond it start to break. And as you can see here, I lifted it right off. Um, if it's a really heavy sink top, make sure you get some help. Uh, otherwise, just take it off, move it to the side, and get ready to remove that vanity. Okay, so far, like I said, we've disconnected the water lines. As you can see, we got the P, the P pipe or whatever that's called. If you know what the name is, please tell me. Anyway, um, I took the two screws out of here, ripped the doors off. So now all I'm gonna do is, in theory, lift this up a little and slide it out, all right? So that's exactly what I did. Now what I'll do with this next is I'm just gonna put this out on the side of my house. I got a trash day this week. I will put that out and the city will pick it up and smash it to pieces, all right? So this was how I removed the vanity. Now next I'm gonna take the mirror off. I'll show you that, but that's actually really simple if you wanna come see. Um, two screws here, all right, boom and boom. I'll pop those off uh, and we'll take this down right now actually and we'll get that out of here too. And that's it, medicine cabinet off. Look at that. Wow, That's actually pretty a discovery. Cool. So this house was built in like 1940. Uh, sadly, there's no treasure in here right now, but maybe <laughs> as I look deeper in, we'll find an artifact. All right, so stick around. The next phase 
is going to be cutting the baseboard down below so I can fit in the 36 inch vanity that we're, we're doing today. So stick around, we'll be back.